Hey guys, so today I'm here with a tutorial showing you how to move a Steam game from one hard drive to another. Now there are quite a few reasons why you may want to do this. For example, if you have a setup like mine where you have a solid state drive as well as a normal spinning hard drive and you know, your solid state drive is getting full like me, uh, you also may want to go ahead and install this on a, an external hard drive. So for example, if you want to uh, you know, go between different computers or whatever, keep your games with you, you can just install them on that. So what I'm going to do for you guys is give you a quick tutorial showing you how to do this. Uh, now it's going to be a little bit more complicated than just dragging and dropping. Now Steam only allows you to install your games on your C drive or whatever drive you have Windows installed on. Uh, so it does get a little bit complicated, however it's not that bad, so let me go ahead and give you guys a quick tutorial. Uh, so the first step is, is that you need to download and install whatever game you're going to do, whatever you're going to move rather. So I'm going to be moving Bioshock today, it's a great game, but I think it'll be just fine on a normal hard drive. So once you have it installed, we can go ahead and pull Steam down, and you're going to need a couple of things. Now the first thing is, you need to find the disk. So what I'm going to do is just go in here, uh, you're going to go on, to, go into your local disk C, or again, whatever drive you have Windows on. You need to come down to Program Files. Uh, rather, program files x86. You need to kind of scroll all the way down until you find Steam. You need to go into Steam Apps. And then you need to come into Common. Now, at this point, you will see all the games that you have installed on your computer. So, for example, I have Bioshock right here. Okay, so once you have found the file, you need to go ahead and open up another window. And, for example, this needs to be a window on your other hard drive. So, for example, this is my 2 terabyte drive. So, what I'm going to do is just simply drag and drop Bioshock onto my second hard drive. So it's going to go ahead and copy for a little bit, so I'll be right back as soon as it's done. Okay, so it's all done. So if we want to make sure, we can just go over here, make sure that all the files look to be in order, so we can just open it on both sides. You can see here everything looks about identical. So the next step is to rename this folder. Now, of course, we're going to delete it, but just to make sure we don't need to re uh, download and install everything, what we're going to do is just rename it anything so this isn't Bioshock. Just, it doesn't really matter, just as long as it's not the same folder name. So if there's any problem, if something didn't copyright, instead of having to re-download and reinstall everything, we can just rename it back to Bioshock and it'll work just fine. Alright, so our next step is, is we need to open up the command prompt. So just hit the Windows key, then type in CMD, and then we're going to right click and open as administrator. Okay, so once you have the command prompt open, it's going to be really simple. We just need to enter a simple command. So what we need to do is type in MKLINK space backslash capital J now we need to go ahead and put a quotation mark and now what we need to do is come over to your uh, I just like to open up the, the files here and then click on the top little address bar so it will change it into the actual address so just control C to copy it and then right click and click paste so then it will go ahead and put in uh, the entire uh, file name so we can get straight to it and then what you need to do is just add another backslash and then add whatever the name of the game was so for example this is Bioshock uh, whatever the name of the folder was so for example you can see here uh, it was called just Bioshock all lowercase so add that and then add another quotation mark okay so now on the second part we need to go ahead and point steam towards oops we can actually open that back up now we need to point steam towards where or rather point windows towards where the steam file actually is so this is going to be really simple in my case it's just I steam and Bioshock so uh, if there's no spaces, you don't have to add the quotation mark. So I'm just going to paste that in here. So as you guys can see here, you should see something very similar. It should be MK link backslash J and then if, in quotation marks and then wherever your Steam file is. So for example, we want to create something in common where uh, Bioshock was before. And then the second part just needs to be pointing windows to where the files actually are. So once you know you got it done, click enter. And there we go, it says Junction Created. Okay, so as you guys can see here, if we go ahead and click on the Bioshock folder, and we actually open it up, it looks like, as far as Windows can tell, it is just in program files exactly where it was. However, if we come over to the Steam file, of course it is still on our external hard drive. Anyway guys, that was a quick tutorial showing you how to move a Steam game from one hard drive to another. And of course, there are other ways to do this, there are programs that allow you to do it, but personally, I just like doing it in the command line, I mean, it's just one line of... Uh, text not all that difficult and now we've freed up uh, about five six gigs off of our solid state drive and we've moved it over and now we can still play steam games and everything but we've freed up a lot more space anyway guys if you found this video helpful be sure to subscribe up above for all kinds of other tech related content